Okay, here's a question where I'm asked to solve. It's a quadratic, so I can I can come up with two answers in the end. My very first thing that I would try is to see if I could factor it. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply. I'd use the AC method. 5 times 3. So two numbers that multiply to 15 and add to 12. So 15, like 15 and 1, 3 and 5. None of those add to 12. Therefore, factoring isn't going to help you out. So the only way to solve that equation would be to use the quadratic formula. Make sure when you're using the quadratic formula <coughs> that you put brackets in for everything when you're plugging numbers in, especially this B inside there. A lot of people forget to put that bracket there, and if B is a negative number, it messes them up. A times C all over 2 times A. Okay, so plug the numbers in. B is a 12. 12. A is a 5. And C is a 3. And A is a 5. Alright, so I'll get negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144. 4 times 5 is 20. And 20 times 3 is 60. So that would be minus 60 over 2 times 5 is 10. So I get negative 12 plus or minus the square root of, that looks to be 84, all over 10. And then, um, I'm pretty good to there, but I'm probably giving you 4 out of 5 on a test if you get to there. Because the square root of 84, I can simplify. Uh, square root of 84 would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 21, all over 10. And then the square root of 4 is 2 over 10. And then 2 will divide into all of these terms. So 2 goes into there 5 times, into there 6, into there once. So my final answer will be minus 6 plus or minus 1 square root 21 all over 5. That would be my answer. Now, if they're asking for a decimal answer, then you'd go ahead, go ahead and figure out what the square root of 21 is and go minus 6 plus that over 5 and minus 6 minus that over 5. Making sure you put this stuff in brackets when you do it on your calculator. But this would be your exact answer.